Hello, Tito Jeff here, Ormoc City, Leyte of the Philippines. And I have been here since April 6th. Today is August 2nd, so I'm going on four months living in the Philippines. And the first three months were a real whirlwind. Uh, Marcel and I uh, bought a house. We renovated the house. It took about a month. Spent a lot of money on that. And... Uh, we planned our wedding, we got married July 1st, so we were really busy, busy, busy. Now things have kind of settled down a little bit, and we're enjoying our life together here. So I just thought I'd take a minute and talk about some of the things so far, you know, after four months. I'm not I'm not a veteran expat of the, in the Philippines. I haven't been here a long time, but there are things that, that I like. And there are things that I don't like. And so I'm going to start with the bad stuff. Now, when I came here, I expected a lot of trouble with uh, mosquitoes. And once in a while, I, I get bitten by a mosquito. I think Marcel gets bitten more than I do. Uh, we have them in the house. And we've got a little tennis racket here that lights them up. Swing this through the house and they go pop, 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 pop. I wish I could get one to pop for you here now, but it's really handy. And Marcel loves it. She loves to kill the mosquitoes. Call her Marcel the mosquito killer. However, mosquitoes are not the big problem for me here. The big problem for me here in the Philippines is ants. Ants are everywhere. And it's not just this house, but this house has got a really bad ant problem. So I've started putting out some boric acid baits uh, that you feed this to the ants. They eat it, they take it back to the, to the ant colony and they feed it to the other ants and eventually they die, they start dying off. And uh, that takes time, it takes at least a month before you get them. And I just got bitten by an ant. I'm gonna crawl up my neck. So, and in my garden, our garden, is infested with red ants, fire ants, I guess they are. They don't build big, tall mounds, but I think our whole garden is just one big ant hill. As soon as I walk into the garden, they're on my feet, and they bite. They leave little sores, little pustules, and it's terrible. So I started going on the attack for the ants with boric acid. Also, today I just started boiling water, and if I find the opening of an ant hill, I pour boiling water down the ants. So ants are my number one problem, my number one complaint about living in the Philippines. Um, the other big adjustment for me here are traffic rules, or the lack of traffic rules. <laughs> they have stop signs here in Ormoc. I haven't seen one traffic light yet. No stop lights in Ormoc City. But each intersection has stops, stop signs, and some are one way, so you see do not enter, no entry. Um, people get more upset about that than they do people not stopping at a stop sign. Nobody stops at a stop sign. I'll slow down and look, and sometimes I'll stop because there is traffic, but uh, I don't really stop. And there's no enforcement, no enforcement whatsoever. Uh, people learn to drive on their own. There's no real training. I think you can go to a traffic school to get your training for your license, but I don't know what they teach. Can't be much. Teach them how to keep the car on the road. I think that's about it. So you have to be very careful driving here. Fortunately, I don't have, I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere. I drive maybe 15, 20 miles an hour max in town. And out on the highway, I get up to about 45 kilometers uh, per hour, which is about uh, maybe 30 miles an hour. Because this little scrum right here, this little truck behind me, a uh, little Japanese pickup truck, four-wheel drive, three, uh, four-speed transmission manual, is only designed to go up to about 50 kilometers per hour maximum. After that, from what I've read, the engine will start to heat up a little bit, get a little overheating maybe. And it's not very stable at higher speeds. So it's, it's fine for driving around town here or uh, short distances on little trips. 
and haul and stuff. I'm glad I have it. It's really great. The traffic rules. No traffic rules. People will just pull out in front of you. They'll pull out and stop and wait for every, expect, expect everybody to wait for them to make a decision on where they're going to go. Uh, it's, it's Sometimes it's frustrating. They do. Well, it's the same in America. People do stupid stuff. You see it all the time. Uh, but here, I won't say they're doing stupid stuff because I don't, just don't think they know any better. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Uh, my biggest gripe is in driving is with uh, people who drive big SUVs, Fortuners, Toyota Fortuner, and the Toyota Helix, uh, or a Ford uh, pickup truck. Uh, they're expensive. They are uh, an item that people buy for because they have money. It shows that they have money. It's, it's a what do you call it? Prestige. It's a thing to be seen. People buy it to be seen a lot of times. And not because they know how to drive them, that's for sure. <laughs> you see them in a garage, uh, parking garage at the mall, and they're creeping along because they're afraid they're going to hit something. Those guys, I uh, had one pass me. I was accelerating on a straight stretch. The guy passed me, and he didn't have room to cut in front of me. He just expected me to stop and let him in. And he was blowing his horn at me. I blew my arm back at him, you know. Typical American fashion. Um, so you have to watch those guys. Be very careful around them because they'll just, they just think they own the road. And maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, the third thing that uh, is a bother for me is going out to eat. I haven't found a good cheeseburger in, in the Philippines yet. McDonald's is the best cheeseburger in town. That tells you about cheeseburgers. Now, McDonald's, I like McDonald's. But it can't be the best cheeseburger. It's got to be something somewhere. Now, I did buy some ground beef. Ground beef in the Philippines is cheaper than in the States right now. It's about $3 a pound here. And it was good quality, assuming that it was actually beef and not uh, Caraval. Uh, although I think Caraval would not would probably be, you could tell. Because they're just they're so much more lean than a, than a cow, but it was it was good quality beef. I made nice hamburgers with it. Cooked cooked some for Marcel and me, and they're really good. Lettuce though, if you want to buy lettuce for a hamburger, a little head of lettuce about this big, not much bigger than you know, my fist, it's like three bucks. Lettuce is expensive. Mustard. I bought some McCormick's mustard at the grocery store. Not great mustard. It was okay, better than no mustard. But not good, uh, not good as like Plockman's or something like that. But I did look online. I could buy some some mustard online. I'm gonna order some someday. French fries. I got good French fries here. Pizza is okay. I haven't tried all the pizza joints in town, but well, my favorite so far is called Greenwich. G R E N N G R E E N W I C H Greenwich Pizza, and uh, it's it's pretty good. They have a meat pizza, uh, good quality ingredients, and kind of a sweet tomato sauce, uh, which is okay. But um, so, and we have a Shakey's pizza. I think it started in America. And I, I've never been to a Shakey's in America. But the Shakey's here, uh, I, I, I haven't been back. And what else? Fast food. Yeah. Moving on to the things that I do like. Things that I really like. Maricel. Being married to Maricel Withers uh, is my favorite thing in the Philippines. And I've got a list in front of me. That's why I'm looking down. Uh, really the best, but that's not about the Philippines. That's just being Maricel. But I like it because it's warm here. There's no cold weather. And I'm enjoying the warm weather. Marcel complains about the heat more than I do. And it does get hot here and humid. It's about like Kentucky in June, July. Uh, it doesn't get as cold here at night. It gets down to about 70, 75, which is nice. But in the daytime, it's about 85 to 90 degrees just about every day. And it's humid. And if it becomes a big storm and rains a lot, then humidity jacks way up. Uh, and I had a little trouble with heat rash when I got here. When we were working on the house and I was outdoors doing a lot of work, 
anywhere by clothing uh, touch like my neck and uh, right here at my arms. I had little bumps that came up because when your sweat glands can't through or something like that. But I got through that. But I like the warm weather. It's nice. Flowers all the time. Green trees, greenery. Uh, it does get a little dry here sometimes. I haven't been through that yet. Uh, number two. I don't know which one's number two. Two and three. I'm not switching here. No rude people here. You don't have rude people in, in the Philippines. You don't stand in line at the grocery store and hear somebody yelling at the clerk or throwing a fit at the counter at McDonald's or throwing a fit in another store or at, uh, at, the, at a government office when they're waiting in line. People don't throw fits here. It's nice. For the most part, people are really nice. Now, you, anywhere you go, you got some bad people. Uh, there's murders here. Uh, there's scam, scam artists here. But generally, the people are really nice. And they don't want to offend anybody. They're really sweethearted people. Quick with a smile and very friendly and very helpful. Number three. Uh, fried chicken. So I'll go back to food. Fried chicken. They love fried chicken here in the Philippines. You got a place called Crispy King. My favorite fried chicken in Ormoc City. Kentucky Fried Chicken ain't got nothing on Crispy King. Now, they do it a little different. You don't get a whole breast. They chop up the chicken and they fry it. So you get like a half of a breast, uh, maybe a half of a thigh, a full leg, a full wing. But the pieces are smaller, which is okay. It's good. I don't need to be eating a lot of fried chicken. But fried chicken and lots of fruits, watermelon especially. I love watermelon. Mango. We have mango every morning for breakfast. Delicious. Pineapple, which is grown right here in Warmock City. Pineapple is delicious. Uh, lots, there is a lot of good food here in the Philippines. Uh, so the only thing I miss about the American Day is pizza and hamburgers um, so far. But I like the crispy king. Fried chicken. It's awesome. I like the birds. Oh, I go back to the bad stuff. One of the bad things about living in the Philippines, and you can hear it in the background, dogs barking. People will have a house. They've got a little garage. They tie a dog up to the to the gate of the garage, and he's their, their guard dog. And they expect him to bark, and they don't care. And it's, if they've got four or five dogs in there, and they... Another dog walks by in the middle of the night. They they go nuts. So I got I got a neighbor that kind of keeps me awake sometimes. Wakes me up with, with their dogs. But uh, I can live with that. It's no big deal. So a lot of street dogs here. The street dogs are not vicious. They don't seem to be uh, friendly. Not friendly. They don't. They won't come up to me. But they're not barking at me and trying to bite me or anything like that. So I don't feel afraid of of uh, street dogs here. Uh, just not afraid of them. Uh, keep an eye on them just in case there's one that's bad, but they're not bad. So that's four months. That's that's my the upside and the downside of living in the Philippines. Ants. I got to get rid of these ants. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm learning to kill ants. I hate ants. Yeah. I know that God created everything and said it was good. But ants in my garden are not good. They need to go somewhere else. And with the rats. We do have a rat problem in our neighborhood, and I've bought a trap, and I've been really big successful. So I'm getting ready to go check my rat trap now. So those are some things I, I like and dislike about the Philippines so far. Overall, I'm really happy here. Sometimes I can't believe it that I'm living here. Man, am I really living in another country? in Southeast Asia, on the other side of the world from my home. But I enjoy it, and uh, I'm happy and looking forward to having a long life here. So that's Tito Jeff in Ormac City. Some of my likes and dislikes so far. I'll make more videos about what I like in the Philippines. Goodbye.